Not sure if the path of your parents is the path for you? What questions do you begin with? What does self-discovery feel like? My journey of self-discovery has been both my privilege and my tribulation. I have lived life differently than most. I offer educational sessions on how to pursue your path. Links and contacts are in the bios. Welcome to the Alternative Ancestors with John David Whalen. And happy International Woman's Day. Woman's Day was first introduced to me uh, several years ago uh, by foreign women living in Los Angeles in the United States. Uh, it's not something that is typically part of our culture, at least wasn't uh, when I was growwing up. Uh, it wasn't something to be celebrated. It just, it just wasn't there. We had Valentine's Day, and I guess from a certain point of view, as in a, American culture, Valentine's Day was his de facto Woman's Day especially given the expectation in culture that you were supposed to be, or if you were doing life well in a partnership to where you know, a man would buy you flowers and do all the chocolates and do the dinners and the nice, you know, just do all the things for the woman. And it was, it was typically that. But as I've grown and learned about things, I've, I've discovered International Woman's Day, which is introduced to me by women in Eastern Europe and uh, other parts of the world that typically have a more patriarchal society, uh, certainly a more constrictive society towards women. I think I choose at this point with International Women's Day to kind of examine and, and celebrate the progress we've made in the understanding, at least at a certain level, that hopefully is being passed down and learned about the value, function, and purpose of femininity. And I do not qualify femininity as a female trait. It is a very specific way of thinking. It's a way of processing information that predominantly uses your nerve endings in your guts. It's going to use your feelings. It's going to activate your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. It's going to center around your emotional attachment to things. It is a way of perceiving the world for others. I would argue it's some of what I see as femininity, which of course exists in men and women. And the expression of this femininity, I think, is something that really can be celebrated at this point. It's an honoring of that way of thought, which in culture, especially when this day was originated and it was aligned towards females. But I really, really don't think that is true. And that's not to take away from celebrating your mom or your wife or your sister in a in a unique way. I think we all deserve and can appreciate moments that focus on who we are. You know, honoring women in general on this day in their feminine or masculine is progressive. And so as a man celebrating International Women's Day without a partner or dedicated women in my life that you know, I would be the, the singular person to provide purpose for this day um, by expressing my own individual gratitude. I'm kind of spreading it out and just taking that moment, like on a birthday, to say, happy day to you. I hope today is filled with joy and fun. If on other days, I've overlooked a certain person because of a busy schedule or just a, a distance in the relationship. I hope that, you know, on International Women's Day, I'm able to remember that and reach out and just say, thank you for being you. I also think there's a part of this that continues to benefit from a culture and a society that segregates and separates men and women. The motivation behind having a singular day where the woman gets all the flowers and has a, a day that shows her how much you care, in some contexts, I think allows for the reduction of expression to how much they care throughout the rest of the year. And I think that's a, that's a byproduct. And as we, as we move in a more progressive way to be able to shift that back 
and be able to give gratitude and acceptance and and value to the women in your own life that is not limited to just a single day when you honor women today really really try and focus on who that woman is rather than highlight all the quote unquote girly things that you think she might enjoy because she might not enjoy those i think it's appropriate and fine if the woman that's close to you or a friend that's close to you or your mom is interested in things other than flowers and chocolates and foot rubs and baths and candles and scented sparkly things if that's not who they are then this day is for them too and that is the the crux of how i kind of feel about the way our culture is changing being able to take these ideas these tradition that exist and potentially ideas in these traditions so that it's not an us or against them situation it's not well there's no international man day that's not the point point. and the argument that says well every other day is international man day that's also wrong or at least it should be in the next culture that we come to so you don't have to get rid of something like international women's day or repress it which a lot of people do in the united states with valentine's day that's the book rejected valentine's day oh this is something i celebrate it's just hallmark love a lot could be said for it the same way against international women's day but this experience can be a practice in adjusting the framework in which we value women and why we value women all that can change it doesn't have to be with the stereotypical and traditional format that you want to give women all the feminine things that they normally don't get throughout the year because first of all they should be getting all those things all the time throughout the year that shouldn't be something that they have to wait for if they want it secondly they may not want it they may find value in tools and trucks and sports these are fine experiences and I, I really want to be able to communicate that the existence of our current culture does not have to be completely eradicated in order to progress to the new culture, even if the new culture fundamentally thinks and operates in a completely different way. It really can be modulated. It can be adjusted so that as we push forward, we can remember where we came from, but also look towards where we're going. To all those out there, happy International Women's Day. This is the Alternative Ancestor with John David Whalen. Not sure if the path of your parents is the path for you? What questions do you begin with? What does self-discovery feel like? My journey of self-discovery has been both my privilege and my tribulation. I have lived life differently than most. I offer educational sessions on how to pursue your path. Links and contacts are in the bios.